This is Billy Ruth Hopkins Futurici on KCIW 100.7 on your FM dial, right here in beautiful downtown Brookings, where almost every day is a beautiful day and we can always choose to say yes. Life is indeed very, very good. Well, you may remember that this is a work of pure, unadulterated allegorical fiction, or what J.R.R. Tolkien liked to call feigned history. So, sit back, relax, suspend all disbelief, and let's continue with our tale. If you remember, as a rebellious 14-year-old, a little bit snarky, she and Ethurgis decided to go check out Grandma Gaga's stories all by themselves one time, and they went missing the first time for about two weeks. While her mom, Wisteria, was sick with worry. Blamed her mom for everything. Grounded Angela, when she came home, went over to Grandma Gaga's and said, you will never see that girl again. Angela, oh my God, where have you been? How could you do this to me? Senor Roel and I have been driving all over the place looking for you, and then you don't even come home. How could you do this to me? You, yeah, and you go to Grandma Gaga's instead of even home, not even here. You're grounded, young lady. And I forbid you ever to go over to that wacky rock shop again. It, Emma, but Mom, but, 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 oh, my poor butt, I hate you. Well, dear listeners, let's go find out how Angela and her cat, Ather, just get into outer space in the first place. Maybe Mom and Pop God have all the answers. Let's go see. There's Mom and Pop God now in their RV heading home. They're driving south on Highway 285 to the Great National Sand Dunes just southeast of Crestone, Colorado. Whoa, be careful of that swirling dust devil. Oh, my stars, it's enveloping their RV and us right along with it. We're morphing into a hovercraft, rising slowly into the clouds, swept into a huge mothership. Oh, the mothership is called Athondra, it says right on the outside. I bet that's named for Mother Athondra, Mom God herself. Hmm. Oh, be careful there, we're disappearing into the Colorado sky with all those stars and luminescent pink and gold swirls of stardust. These travels with Mom and Pop Mother Athondra are pretty wild. Whoa, look out. We're flying into the regions of their dark matter domain, which is gravity, I understand. Hmm. Let's follow. Well, I'm getting dizzy spinning through all these spiral galaxies and shimmering red threads swirling and twisting around each other. They must be the legendary Akaitos, the red threads of gravity and love linking all soulmates throughout eternity. Whoa, magical. I never thought I would get to see this close up, but here we are. Whew. I wonder if they're headed toward the Simeon Galaxy. I better do some deep breathing and settle down a bit. Well, they are back home in their dark matter domain now, and just as I might have predicted, Pop God's hanging on to the remote control for dear life as they're all watching videos from their last trip to the planet of Aetherius. What a group! That must be his entourage of gods and goddesses. Let's listen in. 
All right, all right, everyone, settle down, settle down. I'm in charge here. Hey, Thor, find the place in those rushes where we left off. Jennifer was telling her story about Wisteria and Sal Perez, Wisteria's husband. Roll those rushes, Thor, while I narrate. Why, narrate. We've got eyes, ain't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just stop trying to control me, Thor. Your lightning bolts will probably kill it all anyway. We were talking to Jennifer, as I recall, in that last episode. Well, Mrs. Dalloway, like I was telling you last time, everyone would just freak out when Angela and the third just went missing, especially her mother Wisteria, who would run and cry in the arms of Senor Roel. Well, anyway, that's just what I heard. I don't know for sure, but Wisteria's always blaming her mom, Wanda, Grandma Gaga, for telling Angela about all those weird dreams and all those wild UFO sightings over the sand dunes. Weird. Wisteria finally banned her from ever going to see her grandma ever again. Angela and I were like sisters. I say were because my mom didn't want me to hang out with her anymore, not because of her grandmother's weird stories, but because of her last name, you know, Perez. Angela's dad was Mexican. That and the fact that her mom was half-breed Ute. I'm talking real half-breed here like her own people in the Ute Reservation wouldn't even have her back well. So, Angela, if you want to be technical about it, Angela's also a half-breed since her dad was Mexican and all. He died because of some war with Muslims. Killed himself when he got back with one leg and a bum arm. The story went like this. They were all living in Santa Cruz by all, I mean, Wisteria and Sal, that's the husband, and the one who killed himself, and, and Zerko's mom, Zephra, and, and, well, stop perpetuating that myth, Jennifer. Sal did not kill himself. Uh, I always heard that they never even got to UCSC in Santa Cruz because Sal never even made it out of Afghanistan. At least, that's the way I heard the story. But details do get confused after centuries of storybook layers, especially since Wisteria is no longer with us to straighten things out. Who knows what's true? Who knows what's reality? Who knows what's illusion? You know what Einstein says about that? Oh, Clarissa, dear, I do love you, but all of this talk about illusion, after all, we are simply reinventing the truth, aren't we? So, on with our story. Thor, I think you need to go find that footage of the high school reunion. I don't know why I have to go find that, Pop. I know how everything goes. Oh, for Orb's sake. Thor, just knock it off. You know, use your brain. Pop's just trying to make it easier for all the folks in Radio Land. For once in your life, Thor, try to maintain some self-control. So I got this first exterior shot right out front here, just at the end of that entryway outside those twelve towering malachite pillars and pink crystalline arches. Now I'm zooming over the double multicolored swirling galaxy out there, just out of sight. Ooh, look, it's coming into view. Whoa, I outdid myself on that one, if I do say so. That's the Simeon Galaxy, Pop. Well, I'll tell you what, Jennifer, you didn't really know that, but it must have come out of your stream of consciousness. You and Mrs. Dalloway are a two of a kind. Oh, come on, Pop. Don't give me a hard time. As I was saying, right here in the middle of the Simian Galaxy is the planet of Aetherius, 
where Lord Ethereus rides his flying unicorn with his chief peace negotiator Tsubasa, who used to be a samurai warrior in the Tonkangawa era. You knew him then, didn't you, Ethergis? Meow, mochiron, pop, mochiron, por supuesto, of course. I was his trusty companion when he and Musashi rode together for a long time, but none of that made it into the history books, sad to report. Oh, look, pop, Senor Ruel, or rather, there's just his head, and oh my gosh, it's attached to a flying unicorn. What in Orb's sake happened? Last time I remember, I was Wisteria. And Senor Roel and I had been happily floating through space together. What happened? Why did you separate us? Why did you decapitate him? Is he still waiting for me? Did he forget me? Will you ever let me go back to him? Oh, look what you've done, Pop. Well, don't blame me for everything, Etheria, dear. Yes, you used to be Wisteria. Strange things can happen, though, when you're floating through space. When the two of you got hit by that truck on 217, you were sucked into a black hole with a few mythical creatures, and, well, I can't control absolutely everything, especially what happens inside black holes. At least Senor Roel kept his head. Ha, 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 just be patient, dear. You've been saying that for centuries, Pop. I'm getting, I'm just beginning to wonder if you'll ever let me be with him again. Well, now, dear, you have your choir to think about, remember. When you arrived as Wisteria, Senor Roel was already gone. And, well, Pop decided to change your name to Etheria because you were so, so, well... You were so ethereal, so we'll give you your very own ethereal choir. And, well, you know, you want to abandon your ethereal choir? Go right ahead. We'll send you back to Earth. But it's not there anymore the way you thought it was before. So I think you better just deal with keeping your ethereal choir, you know, dear? <sighs> I guess so. I guess. It just all seems like some Russian novel. I mean, why did Senor Roel and I have to die that night? Why, 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 I, 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 how many times do I have to say, I am not responsible for accidents, and every time you get in trouble. It's an act of nature. It's not my control. Stop living in the past and be grateful for what you have now. And besides, Etheria, dear, it had been raining real hard that night. You, you probably don't remember. Uh, you told him you wanted to drive home because he had been... Don't remind me, Mother Athandra. I know Senor Roel had just had a little bit too much tequila under his belt and... But he insisted on driving home that night. He was going pretty slow, but that big truck came out of nowhere. Not nowhere, Etheria. That big truck was full of crazy kids driving home from the strike party, too. Tailgating, honking, celebrating like kids do, thinking they're invincible. They knew it was you and Senor Roel, and they were just bullying you. Well, they were just acting like stupid kids act. There, they pulled out to pass you and caught your rear bumper. Oh, I remember now. We, we spun out. <gasps> they skidded across a double yellow line, fishtailed right back across, slammed into you again. A thing of beauty. I love bloody accidents. Thor, how could you be so cruel? We never had a chance. Thor, they never had a chance. Just one bad move after another. Stop it, Thor. Don't act like such a thug. One bad choice after another led to that. Nothing you could have done about it, Wisteria. Well, well Pop should have done something. What do you think I should have done, Wisteria? Well, P Pate, well, maybe... Maybe help me to pay 
more, better attention to my gut in the first place and never allowed him to get behind that wheel on a rain, rainy night when, when he had too much tequila under his belt. And <sighs> after all the right things I did in my lifetime, one bad decision cost both our lives. Not to mention the life of that young man, Chris. What young man? Chris. What? The boy who played Shivano in the musical. Oh, no. Let me get this straight. What you're saying is that Chris was in that truck? In the passenger seat. Took a direct hit as you spun around. So Chris is... Well, yes, Etheria, but yes and no, you know, actually, Chris is actually Shivano now. Talk about method acting. Well, yes, that's a little much, Pop, don't you think? Now, Etheria, the thing is, your daughter Angela must somehow reunite Shivano now with Angelita. So I, that's Angela's job. You think she's up to the task? Oh, my God. Oh, rather. Oh, my stars. I sure hope so. But if anyone can do it, my Angela can do it. I have complete faith in her. So what do you say, Etheria? Shall we dive through that wormhole out there and get a little bit closer to what used to be Earth and weave all of these storybook threads together so Angela can start reframing the past? Yeah, here we go, right there. See that? See that? See that? We're in the middle of the United States of America. It's getting brighter and brighter as we get closer and closer and closer. There's nothing united about that, Pop. There never was. Oh, for Orb's sake, Thor, knock it off. I just did, didn't you see me? Now, you two, let's not start a galactic war over this. Go ahead, Pop, let's, let's just rewrite this story. And, and what about my part? Can we revise my past, too, so I, so I don't have to die? Well, we'll see, Etheria, we'll see. Just be patient so as we close in here on that middle part of the United States of America, we can see Colorado coming into clearer focus now. Watch how I make the camera spin slowly as we focus in on that huge mountaintop range right there in the middle. That's my home, Papa. That's the Sawatch Range. Oh, Papa. That's where I lived. That's where I met Shivano. I threw myself into those crystalline caves where Shivano is now, Pop. Is he still there? Will I ever see him again? Yes, Angelita. All in good time. Just pay attention. <laughs> Perdona me, Papa, but you, you made me into an angel then ripped off my left wing, and, and it's just plain cruel, I, I think. After all this time, Shivano and I should be together again. Ah, oh, you guys are all just such crybabies. Yeah, what do you mean by that, Thor? We who? You, your kind, you know, you know what I'm talking about. No, Thor, I don't. Explíqueme, ¿quieres que lloro? Tal vez pudiera llorar para ti. Que me digan malcriadas otra vez. Stop calling me names. Oh, for orb's sake, you two get a century. My stars, I can't believe you're still holding on to an ancient earthly prejudice like that. There's no place for it here. Haven't you learned by now that Pops... Dark matter domain is gravity, and gravity is love itself, and love is supposed to be healing, so start being loving, you two, or go to your rooms. Sorry, sorry, Athandra, sorry, Mother God. So, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Mom God, I'm sorry, okay, we'll be good. ¿Cómo pudiera ser amorosa cuando papá me quitó? 
la ala izquierda. What's that, Angelita? I did not take your left wing. It was ripped off when you went through that wormhole, so don't go blaming me for things I have no control over. Besides, harboring resentment won't get you anywhere. Perdóneme, papá. Okay, just focus on that big screen. There's Mount Shibano coming into focus right there. See that? that? Let's pan in a little closer so you can see his heart space in the crystalline caves. That's where Shibano threw himself when you abandoned him, Angelita. Ni nunca. No, no, es una mentira, papá. I know, Angelita. I'm just pulling your wings. <laughs> or wing, rather. <laughs> I just, I could watch you cry. Yeah, that's a good one, Pop. Now, you boys, 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 there's just no no need to be cruel. Every time the two of you get together, you act like junior high school bullies. Now, knock it off. Sorry, Mother Thondra. We'll stop bullying on Helito. Okay, so check out these special effects. Watch how I make the image shatter to reveal an animation of Mount Shibano, as if he were an angel himself. Look at those magnificent wings of snow and his arms raised high. Let's get a close-up on his heart space and then dive through that long open gash with the crystalline caves deep inside. Awesome, if I do say so myself. I left all the elements of creation in the Colorado mountains. Ooh, ah, look at that. Ooh, so beautiful, pink and sapphire and blue and aquamarine stalagmites and stalactites and, oh, look at the full moon. Oh, look at that moon. It's shining right into Shivano's broken heart. Oh, poor Shivano. Hush, everyone. Hush, hush, hush. Now, I think I, I hear Wanda telling her granddaughter that recurring dream. Angela's just about to have a real epiphany. Shush, I, I want to hear. Oh, you're right, Mother. That is Grandma Gaga, all right? Wanda Lightwing herself. Let's recreate this dream for everyone out there in Radio Land so they can just get an idea of what's happening, okay? All right, quick. Cut to my TV studio. We're about to have some fun. Let's give Grandma Gaga and Angela the very same dream. Ready? Quiet on the set. Okay, now, Ethereum, it's your turn. Bring up the volume on your ethereal choir. Yes, Pop. Choir, three, two, one, and speak. Escucha, escucha, despiértense. Escucha, escucha, despiértense. Listen, open your eyes. Fíjense, que se abran los ojos nuevos. Pay attention. We are one. Take time. Time to be still. Time to listen. Time to see who you truly are. Ábrense los ojos nuevos. Open new eyes to the world. 
a wellspring of regeneration. Escuchen, despiértense. Ahora es el tiempo de llegar a ser lo que eres. Become who you are. Become who you truly are. No sean suerto a los circunstancias bendisqueros, sino sigue con gozo, amor y fe. Go forth with love. Regenerate in the cleansing waters of the three-phase fountain, in the three-praise mountain. We are the three-phase fountain, springing forth from universal love, the red threads of gravity and love binding us together for eternity. Okay, okay, now watch this miraculous divine intervention. Lilith, be the director of this sequence. It's okay, you three, come on. It's time for your part, Grandma Gaga. You and Wisteria and Angela, too. Let's get these golden robes on you right now. Here you go, Angela. Come on, come on. Well, what, 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 I'm confused. What, what is all this, anyway? Well, my name is Lil, Angela. I'm your director. So just listen and do what I say. You are three wise, divine sages. Lilith, dear, Lilith, dear, are we shooting another cat food commercial? Well, no, I don't know. That was the last dream, Wisteria. This one's about soldiers, remember? Grandma Gaga, is that you? Is that you under that hoodie? Oh, I can't quite see. Lift up that hoodie. You three are wise sages, Angela. It's not a hoodie. It's a sage robe. Oh, well, you could have fooled me. Just follow directions there, Angela. I should have known that it was time for you to be here in this dream with your mom and me. Oh, my poor bud, what's going on? I mean, what are we supposed to be doing? I don't even have a script. You don't need one, Angela. You will know what to say when the time comes. Oh, and watch your language, young lady. Why don't you learn to say something like, Oh, my poor stars. Yeah, 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 yeah. Grandma Gaga tells me that all the time. Better not talk to Pop like that, honey. Thor might throw a lightning bolt your way. Okay, let's get going. Up, 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 up. Step up onto this ladder. Let's go up this ladder here. Yeah, all the way up through that pink and gold cloud. Keep going, keep going. All the way. Keep going up through that pink and gold cloud. Cloud? Yeah, you mean real cloud? Well, no way, Lilith. Nothing to worry about, Angela. This is a dream. And besides, I've done it a zillion times. Go on. Up, 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 up. Up you go. Good. Yeah, just stand there looking all wise and all knowing, like divine sages. Dear listeners, you see them clearly now, don't you? Grandma Gaga, Wisteria, and Angela in long golden robes with hoods. They are standing on a gold and pink cloud, swaying back and forth as the cloud transforms into the ethereal voices. Stay tuned for the next episode of Anolita's Adventures in Outer Space. Well, this is Billy Ruth Hopkins Furuichi with KCIW 100.7 on your FM dial right here in beautiful downtown Brookings. Remember to catch us on podcast at www.kciw.org forward slash A-N-G-E-L-I-T-A-S dash wings. Until next time.